Welcome to Candlewick Library. I'm Cheryl. Today I'm doing the C.S. Lewis tag. This tag was created by Katri at Book Nerd Katri. Go check out her channel. It's really great. And I was tagged by Micah at Authentic Storymaking, also another really great channel. I felt like it was appropriate to sit next to my C.S. Lewis section of my bookshelves today while I answer some questions that are all created about C.S. Lewis. Number one is, what was the first C.S. Lewis book you read? I am actually not 100% sure on this. It was either The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe or The Screwtape Letters, and I really don't know which one. I believe it was in 2009-ish, and I believe I read them in the same year, and I really don't remember which one I read first. But I know I read the whole Narnia series, all seven books that year, and then Screwtape Letters either right before or right after. So it was one of those two. Uh, number two, how many C.S. Lewis books do you own? And I own 25 C.S. Lewis books. And those are just the ones written by him. I also have some that are about him or about things that he's involved with. But technically, some of them are duplicates because I have two sets of Narnia. I have this box set up here that has the original illustrations. And then I have this one, which is the first set that I owned that I read. Number three, which Narnia book is your favorite and why? This has changed every time I've read through the series. So I've read through the series three times now, and I actually want to read through them again. The very first time I read through them, my favorite was kind of a tie between the Dawn Treader and the horse and his boy. I don't remember exactly why with the horse and his boy. I just remember really loving it. But but with the Dawn Treader, I just really love the Eustace storyline. I love the dragon scale part. I really enjoyed that. And then the second time I read through, Dawn Treader was still my favorite. The third time I was reading it out loud to my daughters and all of them were so good. But The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, I think was my favorite that time. Probably because it was the first book that I read out loud to my daughters that both of them gave five stars to. Neither one of them enjoyed the ending of the series, and so they have kind of different views on some of the other books. They both gave that one five stars and really loved it. And so that added to my enjoyment, I think, of it. But I think those three plus The Last Battle are my favorites, just because they each have elements that I really, really love. But overall, I think it would have to be Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe and Voyage of the Dawn Treader. I still really love Eustace and his storyline because it is such a dramatic and relatable story, I think. And I do have some suspicions that his family was LDS. And so him being the way he was and then taking off all those scales. That adds a little bit more meaning to me now too. Number four, who is your favorite character in his fiction? Obviously, from what I just said, you'd know Eustace is one of my favorites. And I obviously Aslan, obviously Lucy. I think most people have those too. Edmund, again, because you see his growth and how great he becomes. Another character I really loved the first time I read through the whole series was Reap Cheap. Number five, what is your favorite quote by C.S. Lewis? That is such a hard question. C.S. Lewis is one of those guys that almost everything that comes out of his mouth is a good quote. So there's so many things in my books by him that are marked. I went through some of his quotes and I wrote down three that have been really meaningful to me over the past couple of years. If you look for truth, you may find comfort in the end. If you look for comfort, you will not get either comfort or truth, only soft soap and wishful thinking to begin and in the end, despair. And then another one, no one ever told me that grief felt so like fear. And then the last one, I gave in and admitted that God was God. And obviously, I'm sure everybody watching this can think of a few quotes right off the top of their head that are great. Number six, is there anything about his works or nonfiction that you don't fully agree with? I am not sure. I thought a lot about this question when I first watched this tag, and I'm not sure because most of his books I read when I was still LDS. And so I obviously had some disagreements with him about basic beliefs, but it never really mattered. When you're LDS, you kind of gloss over any differences with Christianity because you don't really understand how different your beliefs are. So it doesn't really matter. Now, I don't know if I would. So in the past couple of years, I have reread Screwtape Letters and I've read a couple of them for the first time. 
but I haven't reread some of the ones that really have a lot of theology in them. I really want to reread Mere Christianity. That is something I'm planning in the next couple of months to do. So we'll see. Thank you again, Micah, for tagging me. I really enjoyed thinking about those questions. And, you know, as you can see, I really love Narnia. I really love C.S. Lewis. I'm going to tag Anne at In Search of Wonder and Shannon at Old American Spirit.